One of the major tourist attractions of Kashmir Valley and Asia's largest tulip garden was open for visitors on Saturday. Located in the foothills of the Zabarman Mountains on the banks of the Dal Lake and spread over 75 acres of picturesque land, the tulip garden was opened ahead of schedule this year. For the first time, 48 varieties of tulips have come to bloom in the garden where we have sown 1.5 million bulbs of the flower this year. Those who love nature and tulips no longer need to go to Holland or elsewhere, said Farooq Ahmed Shah, Secretary, State Tourism Department. Kashmir is in fact more beautiful than we have been told. It is much more beautiful than what we see on television or in the movies. Bagashree 28, a tourist from Maharashtra said. This is Taiba Antu reporting for Kashmir Crown. Two soldiers were injured on Saturday in Jammu and Kashmir, Srinagar district when militants attacked an army convoy. The militants fired at the convoy near the Jalim Valley College of Medical Science on the Srinagar Muzaffarabad Highway. The convoy was en route to Srinagar city from Baramla town. Saturday's attack came a day ahead of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to the state. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's April 2 visit inaugurated Chinani Nashri Tunnel amid the speculations running high that he has something more in his kitty for the people of this troubled town state has made it a special visit, keeping in with his traditional style of holding rallies after the inauguration of such mega projects. Prime Minister will be addressing a public meeting at the inaugural site tucked into the foothills of Pir Panjil, range of Himalayas. It's there where he will unfold the new measures for the state, believed to be having the arc of the political outreach without violating the election code. The model code of conduct is in force in Jammu and Kashmir, where the by-elections to two Lok Sabha seats for Srinagar and Anantanag are scheduled for April 9 and 12 respectively. But he would be speaking from the land where making any special announcements would not be covered under the MMC, for the code is having its specified region of 7 out of 22 districts of the state. Chanani that falls in Adampur is technically out of it. This is Sabiha Shahin reporting for Kashmir Crown. The repairment work of Nansing Bridge, also known as NS Bridge, is pending for last 10 years. The project was started in the year 2008 after the bridge got collapsed in an earthquake in the year 2005. This bridge connects the Tasil headquarter Uri with the rest of the valley and many other villages of Tasil Uri. This historic bridge over the Uri Nala was constructed in 1947 and named after Jamedar Nand Singh. This bridge connects the Srinagar Muzaffarabad Highway and is non functional since 10 years. After this bridge got damaged in 2005 earthquake, no repairment or reconstruction has been done. The construction work of this bridge was taken up by Beacon, but the contractor abandoned the work abruptly. Today, when we approached the 53 RCC Beacon office, they didn't allow our team to go inside and told us that there is no one to speak on this issue. Locals are facing huge problems as the bridge which is used for divergent purposes doesn't have the capacity to bear heavy loaded vehicles. This is Romana Rafiq reporting for Kashmir Crown. Dear Kashmir Crown viewers, we are reporting from Uri Baramula of North Kashmir. We are here at this NS bridge of Uri Baramula. This bridge was constructed in 1947 and was functionable in 2005. But in 2005 earthquake, this bridge got collapsed and from 2007, government is not able to reconstruct this bridge. People are facing a lot of difficulties to move from here and there to cross the roads. ये हम हमने बहुत बार ब्रिज के बारे में गवर्नमेंट से ये कहा कि इसको थोड़ा और इसको ठीक कर दें इसको बना दें क्योंकि यहां से हमें बहुत प्रॉब्लम्स हो रही हैं कि बारिश में यहां से ये गिरता है यहां से ये जो आप देख भी रहे हैं यहां से स्लाइडिंग हो हुई है इस यहां से बहुत से बच्चों को बहुत सी प्रॉब्लम होती है तो इस, इसको यहां से ये छोड़ दो तीन दिन आते हैं इसको ठीक भी करते हैं लेकिन फिर वापस चले जाते हैं According to the localities, the government authorities, the beacon authorities are doing work for one day or two days just to show off the people that we are doing reconstruction of bridge. But I want to tell Mr. Modi and Ms. Mahbubha Mufti, our Honorable CM of Jammu and Kashmir, that is this your development? Is this your digital India? Is this your e-governance? With video journalist Javed Lun, this is Abid Salam reporting for Kashmir Crown.
Nala Bodgir of Bagislam Old Town Baramulla, which was a famous water channel of the old times, is now in a shameless condition. It has become a garbage dump from a very long time. People living in the surroundings are suffering and are angry against the concerned department. Today, Kashmir Crown team visited the spot and witnessed the problems. गवर्नमेंट कोई कदम उठाती नहीं इसकी ना मालेदार उठाते हैं ना गवर्नमेंट कोई कदम उठाती है गवर्नमेंट अंधी है जैसे अबे हम इस नाले की सफाई चाहते हैं सफाई सुथरा ही चाहते हैं और टाउन एरिया वालों से भी इसका करते हैं इस नाले में गंदगी मत डाला करो अच्छा कम से कम तृह एप्लीकेशन तरह है मगर सुनने से आए ना मंजूर करने के ताकि सब वो सब एक्शन उन्हें मैं उन तरह से एक्शन में मुझे अच्छा नाला मुबारक उसको ते उन तोर ना अगर इतनी मजबूरी है आप दस हजार वहाँ से लाओ मैं आपको खुदा ये करके दे दूँगा Dear Kashmir Crown viewers, you are watching daily headlines on Kashmir Crown News, and this is my team. Today we have visited the historic town of Baramulla. Some people call it Sharikhas, some people call it Old Town Baramulla, and the authorities also sometimes, you know, they call it Stone Pelton Town of North Kashmir. But today this town in town is in shambles. My cameraman can show you the pictures. This is the major concern as of now. Let me tell straight away to the government of India and the government of Jammu and Kashmir that you have failed in your mission, which is called Such Bharat Abhiyan. One more concern is that Municipal Committee Baramulla. You can see that all the polythenes, all the dirt, all the you know overlapped things which are coming out from the household are being thrown into this nala, and this nala is completely in shambles right now. The whole population of this area, you know, despite so many requests to the administration, despite so many requests to the authorities, no action has been taken so far. The president of this nala today, they uh, approached to Kashmir Crown team. I, including my whole team, visited this nala. But this is the genuine concern of this population. We hope that the authorities, right now, will wake up from their sleep and try to. Go for the clean-up drive of this nala. With Rizwan Mir, Wani Majid, this is Shahid Imran for Kashmir Crown News.